down, which just makes me so happy. And there's a nice breeze, which is probably going to be a little much while we're recording. But I don't know about you. I did not like that hot, humid weather we had this weekend. It made me want to stay inside. The good thing was we got that little tiny bit of rain that the plants needed so bad, badly. God used those hot, humid days to give us that gift. So maybe I shouldn't have complained about the weather and instead been thankful for the air conditioning and then for the rain. God must sometimes think that we are so very ungrateful for the gifts that he gives us. One gift that we can give to God is to say yes when he asks us to do things. So our Devo is called Good Gifts and it's written by my friend Jamie. The verse that goes with it is James 1, 17, I think, yep. Every good and perfect gift is from above coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. You know what that means in all those big words? It means that every good and perfect gift that we get, every gift that we get comes from God, and that God doesn't change. All of God's gifts to us are good. Life can be hard, but life is still a wonderful gift. Things that happen in our lives aren't always good, but God uses everything that happens for our good and for his glory. So we can say, yes, God, I don't understand, but I will trust you. Sometimes when something new happens, it may seem like it's going to be a, a bad thing or something we're not going to like. But sometimes it turns out to be super good. For example, maybe you didn't even like coming to Celebration Place at first kids were new, the teachers were new, you weren't sure what was going to happen, and you might have felt a little weird inside. But now you love going and you don't want to miss. We can't always tell at first, but we can always trust that God knows and, and can handle what is going on in our lives. God is in control whether things are good or bad. Because we know this, we can always say yes to God and his plan. Let's pray. Father, thank you for my life. Thank you for giving me so many good things. Please help me to seek you and to trust you because I don't always know what's best, but you do. You are an amazing gift. In Jesus' name, amen. This Devo also makes me think about what we've all been going through with this coronavirus thing. It's made for a really different summer for all of us. For us, we like to go on road trips, but we felt like the situation was too crazy and out of control, so we didn't go. Sometimes it feels like life just keeps on changing, really fast even. We just have to trust that God is still in control, even in these crazy times. We have to look for his good gifts and be thankful. We have to be brave and say yes to the things that he wants us to do. So your challenge for the week is to think of one crazy thing that we all have had to do or not do because of the coronavirus. Then think of how something good has happened even in this craziness. Saying yes to God is almost, well, often uncomfortable. That's a pretty normal reaction to change. And he knows just how you feel about things, so don't be afraid to talk to him about it. Speaking of change, if things go, go right, we will be meeting together in person next Monday night. I am so excited. You will need to wear a mask and we will not be able to share our toys and materials. That doesn't mean we won't have them, we just can't share them. We will need to sit six feet apart from one another. We will need to use hand sanitizer, but we can do this together. I've gotten a couple of new masks. Mitch thought I had a funky necklace on, but it's my mask. There's one. What do you think? That's the first one. And here's the next one. This one just came in the mail today. Ah, can't get it on my ear. 
Here it is. What do you think? I'm not sure which one I'll wear next week. It'll have to be a surprise. I'm looking forward to seeing each and every one of you next week. I can't wait. Hmm, I wonder what your masks will look like. Guess I'll have to wait and see. See you next week. Love you. Bye-bye.